Hi, this is Leah. If this is the first time tuning into my channel, thanks for stopping by. And for anyone who's tuned in before, thanks for stopping by again. Um, I'm going to talk about my week 11 in review. So I actually took a break for the last week. I wanted to, number one, see how it goes. I wanted to address the ongoing hoarseness and feeling like I was constantly losing my voice situation that I had going on as well. So I've taken the last week off of Munjoro and I haven't had, um, I haven't taken a dose. So it's been a week now. And during that last week, I actually gained 1.3 pounds and that puts me back up to 127.6. I am 5'2 people, so I'm, I am a shardy. Um, but I mean, I, I'm not uncomfortable Anytime I'm under 130, I'm not uncomfortable. I don't feel like I have body dysmorphia. Yeah, I feel like I enjoy when I'm like at 120, but as long as I'm under 130, I'm okay. So um, I want to be able to maintain and not gain. So did I eat okay over the last week? Some days I did, some days I didn't. Some days I got into the Halloween candy stash that we had prepped. For Halloween, um, you know, the appetite's back. So, so I actually, the pros, the cons of my week off. The pros, I enjoyed tasting my food and having it taste normal. That was nice. And of course, 1.3 pounds, two nights. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's nice, which means I got a work trip coming up for the next two days. I think I may wait at least, I don't know, I may either go one more week before I take my next dose or I may at least wait until I get back from my work trip. I don't know about you guys, but taking the medications, um, not only eating, but I, there's no way I can drink more than one glass of wine. Like that's a lot <laughs> to even drink. So it'd be nice to have maybe two glasses of wine when I'm out to dinner, maybe. Maybe one glass is enough. I don't know. But it's sometimes so hard to drink or eat or any of that um, on the medication, which, crazily enough, as much as I enjoyed having my appetite, the cons were I miss not having my appetite. So, <laughs> so we all know the things we love can sometimes be the things we hate as well. So it's a mixed bag. So I enjoyed having my appetite and tasting things normally and being able to really enjoy things over the last week. But I also missed, you know, not feeling the hunger pains and not caring about eating as much. So it's always a mixed bag. And um, yeah, so ideally though, it would really be nice to be able to not take any medication and get that maintenance phase in. But I'm okay if I have to randomly take doses when needed. And you know, it's still like to lose a couple more pounds. But again, I've been on the five milligrams. I have two pins of the five milligrams left. So going off the five milligrams, do I continue to get another dose of the five milligrams or do I go back down to two and a half? Because again, like I said before, I'm not at a weight that I'm uncomfortable at. So, um, so we'll see. The other thing that I talked about last time and I think I talked about earlier was the fact that I had hoarseness and that was concerning to me. I didn't want to end up with thyroid nodules or anything like that. And it's one of those things if you read the pamphlet and the instructions and warnings, if you have hoarseness ongoing and things like that, it's a talk to your doctor. So I did make a doctor's appointment. I went by my doctor and um, she felt it was probably more of a situation of silent reflux. I told her I don't feel reflux, but she said you can definitely have silent reflux, which would cause the ongoing hoarseness and the changes, you know, with your voice and things like that. So, of course, she said one of the most common symptoms of thyroid nodules are when you're swallowing and you feel like you have a lump in your throat and you feel like it's difficult to swallow. She, so, she did say to make sure to keep out for that, keep an eye out for that. And, of course, if I wanted to redo my blood work, she was happy to redo my blood work, which... I feel like she's probably right. It's probably just a, um, it's probably just silent reflux and I just don't realize that. I mean, when your digestion slowed, it doesn't take much for that stuff to come back up. 
when it's sitting there. So makes sense, I think. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. I think I'll, when I do get back on the doses, I'll try to take some Pepsid and things like that just to be on the safe side because I don't want to end up with an irritated esophagus and the sore throat and things like that. Um, so we'll see if that helps. So those were the main things um, over my week 11 that was interesting. And uh, I'm definitely going to take a couple more days. We'll see. I might take another week and see if I can manage not to gain any more weight before I take my next dose. We'll see. We'll see what I do. So continue to tune in. Let me know what your experiences are. I love to talk to people and to hear everyone's experiences and what they're they're going through. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, like, all the good stuff. And thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time.